and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another sale video. Of course, queen of bargains, we love a good sale. And today is for H&M. H&M are one of my top favorite high street brands. And honestly, I've got such a amazing combo of stuff here to show you guys from capsule pieces to outwear, to glitzy nightwear, and all the way through to, of course, probably my favorite section, H&M Home. So if you haven't done so already, and you would have seen from the thumbnail, we've got a couple of massive boxes to get through. I am not gonna lift them up, because they are here, and they probably weigh about as much as me. So, without further ado, get yourself a nice drink of choice, whatever your tipple is, a nice cup of tea, coffee, maybe an iced coffee, you know? Maybe if that's how you can roll when it's cold outside, I certainly cannot myself, but, then again, I wouldn't turn down a nice coffee. Whatever your choice is, go grab it, snuggle up, and enjoy this humongous H&M set of all. I am gonna jump straight into it. We're gonna go into fashion first, and I'm gonna start on a very glitzy number. I've got my phone over here with the items on it and my order confirmation so I can tell you exactly how much I paid for everything. So this is the first item I picked up and it is a halter neck. Now, no, it's not a halter neck like that. It twists around. I'm gonna be doing a try on clip while I'm talking to show you guys all of these items, of course, in much better style. So, oh no, I picked this up in a size large and this I can tell you now is going to be too big. The top part is really, really big. Oh, that's such a shame. I thought I picked this up in two sizes. I did, I picked it up in a large and an extra large, not a medium. And this is the large, so I definitely should have got a medium. The next item that I picked up is in one of my favorite colors. And you guys know I don't love a load of color, as you can see, I'm quite a beige girl, however, this color they do in Zara and in H&M and it's called, in Zara it's called like sea green or something and it's just this lovely sea foam color. So I picked up this jumper which I thought was really different but now I'm looking at it I'm like is this a little bit childish maybe. I got it in XL because honestly H&M is a bit like Zara. I never know where I stand with the sizes hence why I ordered a large and an extra large in that last top because I was thinking they were going to be tiny but it turns out that they're big. This is the top here. It's got crystals little placed all over it. To be honest I would love this top if it had the crystals but not the Paris or the Paris and not the crystals but I think together maybe it's looking a little bit Little bit childish. Anyway, we'll give it a go and try it on. This is called the Rhinestone Embellished Sweatshirt and they are calling this Sage Green, which I definitely would agree. This is definitely a Sage Green. As I said, I got this in XL and it was meant to be 18 99 and it was down to just eight pounds. So that's why I thought I'd give it a go. Moving back on to beiges, of course. I, If you are new around here, then yeah, a lot of the stuff I buy is neutral. I just feel happy in neutral colors. I'm not a bright colored girl. This is just a basic cross top that I picked up. It is a ribbed fabric and it's this really nice sort of mink color. It's a lighter mink but the fabric is so nice. It's like velour um, and inside unfortunately it doesn't follow through. This is what they always do. They put the nice fabric on the outside to look cozy and it feels cozy but actually on your body you're not going to be able to feel the benefits of this. This is the cropped ribbed velour top in light grayish. H&L are known for their greige. I own so much of their greige. This was meant to be $12.99 and I got it for eight pounds, but it has now dropped to seven. I will put all the links to these items down below, of course, and go and check them because I've checked back on the app today and it says further reductions up to 70% off. When I bought it was up to 60% off. So clearly they are already dropping again. These are really heavy. So this is what, whoa, they are long. <laughs> this is what they look like. They are some lined on ribbed trellis. They're soft, they're ribbed, but they're like irregular ribs. I really like that. These again look far too big for me. What size did I pick up in these? An extra large. As you can see, I do feel like from Christmas, I probably ate too much, but hopefully I'm wrong about that. <laughs> they are flare legged and they've got this really cool little split on the front. So these are called the rib knit trousers. They are in the color grayish, of course, and they are meant to be 19.99 and they're reduced to 13 pounds. And that is what I paid for them as well. Oh, did I pick up two of these? Okay, no, sorry. Those were the knitted trousers. 
These are different things. I must have picked up very similar. The last ones you just seen were knitted trousers. They're meant to be $24.99 and they were down to 12. I did get them in an XL though. These, however, are another pair of trousers that are the rib knit trousers in greige, also in XL. So this color is slightly different. Oh, okay, but see, this XL doesn't look so ginormous compared to the other one. Um, in fact, the legs look very skinny. This is why I never know where I stand with H&M. But if I put them next to the pair, you can see there's a massive color difference here. This next item is a bit of a wild card for me. So as you all know, I do like my designer brands. I don't share it a load on YouTube, but um, I seen this dress and it really gave me Chanel ready to wear vibes. And I was like, I really don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a go. See, I want to be like one of the classy girls that can wear this down. New Bolton Street, but I don't know. I hope this looks good. Anyway, this is the tweed dress. I look like I got this in an XL again, I'm gonna guess. Oh no, it's a UK 14 to be fair. Comes with an extra button. It's got two little gold buttons here, which don't do anything. They're not adjustable, unfortunately. Now maybe I should have ordered it in black, but as you know, I like my light colors. So that's why I went with it. This is called the Wool Blend Boucle Dress. So it's not tweed, it's boucle. I mean, it, it is tweed. If you look at it up close, that is very much tweed, I would say. This was meant to be £39.99 and it was reduced to £23 and I can see it's been reduced to £21 now. Just jumping in here because I didn't get to do a try on clip of this. I tried to try this dress on and I feel like there's a complete design flaw in it. So as you guys know, I got this in a larger size. I got it in a 14 and I'm a 12. And the back, the zip goes all the way down to here. But this section is like that narrow. It is so small. So I couldn't even get this. I couldn't pull it up over my thighs and I couldn't even get it over my head because of how small this bit is. So yeah, I would definitely avoid this item. I feel like even if you upsized, it wouldn't make a difference because of this section not giving at all. I think I was most excited for this item when I was waiting for the um, order to come. Oh, there's the other top in XL. I'm not gonna bother opening that. Look at this dress. How me is this dress if you have been following a no? Oh my goodness. Oh, this looks big again. I'm saying that and then probably on the trial clips it's gonna look completely normal, but I feel like this looks a little bit big. So you're gonna see a lot better on the trial clip, but this is a sort of close necked dress and it's just a straight cut. So it is just supposed to be a slip dress, something comfy and casual, but because it's got these beautiful rhinestones on it, these little silver rhinestones, I thought it would look really, really nice. I hope this is still in stock because it's called a fitted dress. It's literally called fitted dress. So this was meant to be uh, £12.99, so not even too bad, and it was reduced to £9, and it still is £9. Oh my goodness, it's just the box that keeps on going. I'm really sorry, this is going to be a long video. And we have a dress. So this is just a basic dress. It's like a sort of satin look fabric. It's very lightweight. I feel like this is definitely more for the warmer months. And it's just got a drawstring waist. It's quite a basic, to be honest. That's why I grabbed it, because I thought, do you know what? It's probably just a basic. This is the balloon sleeved satin dress in black. I got it in extra large again. The model is wearing it with like a leather style coat and some high waisted, uh, high legged boots. So that could be a winter look for sure. But this is meant to be $18.99 and it was reduced to six. Well, sorry, it's reduced to six now and I paid eight pounds for it. So this is on super, super cheap. Don't get me wrong, it feels quite light fabric, but this could be, this could be a capsule. Next up, we have some knit and of course, none other than beige. I genuinely can't remember ordering any of this stuff. I tell you guys, I do these late at night, these orders, okay? And I'm not responsible for it. So, I mean, I am, but I'm not. But yeah, I just didn't think you could go wrong in winter with this. This is a roll neck. Um, this looks super cozy, to be fair. This is a roll neck jumper. I got this in an XL also, because I thought with jumpers, I don't like them fitted. It has got a lovely balloon sleeve. This looks super cozy. Cable knit polo neck jumper in light beige, and this used to be $19.99, and I paid £11 for it, and it is now reduced to nine. Ah. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, it's even more sparkly when you take it out of the bag. Okay, I 
chucked this in last minute. This is the sequin wrap dress. It was £23 down from £39.99. It's reduced to £20 now. I got this in an XL. Am I going to regret that? Let's see. Oh my goodness, the sequins are so beautiful. Oh my god, you guys, look. Can you see? They're not they're all different sizes. That's what makes it so different. Oh no, yeah, this is going to be far too big on the waist. And there's no way to cinch it in. This is going to be far far too big. I I used to be an XL in H&M, so I'm quite glad to either see H&M or are finally you know, adjusting their sizes. I don't feel as a size UK 12, I would be considered an XL, but you know, it's just how it, different brands are. They all run differently. It is just a number and a letters at the end of the day. But what I'm saying is it's really annoying when you're trying to gauge to buy things. Like if this wasn't still in stock, then I would have lost out. I can't get over how beautiful this is. I think it's the different, it's the different sizes of sequins that are making it Oh wow, okay, yeah. I need to reorder this. It's got shoulder pads in it as well. This would be so, so beautiful. Like a birthday dress or I'm going on a cruise this year as well. Oh, okay, love. Then I think this is the last clothing item. I do have a coat, I believe, to show you guys. And then I've got a couple of accessories and home, of course. This is the top here, which is in desperate need of an iron. But the reason I picked this up is, for you guys who watch my Primark content, do, this, do these straps and this remind you of that dress that I picked up in Primark? It does. I loved that style and I thought obviously the dress is not wearable all the time but the top might be. So I picked this up in an XL. This is going to be too big and I feel like it's the, the straps might even be a bit too big. This style you can get away with pretty much any size so it might look absolutely fine. I will have to give it a steam though because I don't think anything's going to look good with this amount of creases in it. This is called the rhinestone strap satin top and it is usually $12.99 which I think is a fair, fairly good price for that and I got it for seven and it's been, re it's been reduced to six um, but yeah this is really nice again an easy but like glitzed up outfit for like a summer night can you see i only tend to go out in summer not a winter night okay then the last fashion item in part apart from accessories is a coat now this is the coat i picked up i have actually already tried this one on because it came in my second order but this is not what i was expecting whatsoever it's way darker as you can see this is almost a fully kind of I just think it looks a bit dirty. I feel it looks like a, you know, one of the checkered coats, the black and white ones, but it looks like it's been worn a lot. I don't know. I don't, I've never had that vibe from something before. This is just called coat. <laughs> it used to be $49.99 and it was down to 27. And the reason I gave it a go is because I was kind of looking for that monochrome, but I don't think that this is what I was after. In fact, it, it isn't what I was after. So now moving on to some accessories. So I actually picked up a handbag from H&M. I picked this up because I felt like it was very Chanel vibes and it's a long strap one. But it looks like you can, yeah, you can. So, wow, this is what it looks like. Absolute ton of room. It's got two sections in there. It's silver hardware, which for myself is a win. You've got the longer strap. I wouldn't say, would this be enough to be crossbody? Oh yeah, enough to be crossbody. Although I probably wouldn't wear it like that because it's a bit too big of a bag. Or of course, a double strap shoulder bag. Oh my gosh, how cute. I feel like this is... Okay, this is really cute. This is called the quilted shoulder bag, but you can, I confirm, wear it crossbody. It used to be $29.99 and it was reduced to £10. It's now reduced to £9. And I really like this, you know. I feel like for a chuck around handbag, I like the closure as well. It's very similar to Gucci. Um, and I feel like for the space in this, I love slouchy bags, I just always have. But for the space in this, I feel like that's really good. Oh, I found another fashion item. I don't remember picking this up. It is just a little, oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, I picked up this little like sleeveless cropped hoodie uh, and it just says on there in Navy, Los Angeles, California club. I don't know, I've never had anything like this. I've never owned anything like this. So it might not look that great. But again, I think with some high-waisted jeans, this could look quite nice. It was super cheap as well. It's just called the cropped hoodie. It was six pounds from 12 99 So the last fashion item, I think, as far as I can see, is a pair of shoes. And these, I took a bit of a punt on. Now, 
LV and I think Balenciaga and I think Bateca Veneta are doing shoes like this at the moment. The snow boots, essentially. So I thought I would give these a go, but I don't know if I like them. I'm going to put a try on little walking clip in here so you can see, but they are obviously quite a unique design uh, and I'm not sure they're for me. However, they are very comfy. They're like a coat. They're a coat for your foot. Who knew? These are called the ankle laced nylon boots and they are usually $29.99 and I got them for £17 and they have now been reduced to nine. Okay, then I'm really quickly gonna run through some home bits because I'm conscious this video has gone on for quite a while. Thank you so much if you're still around. I appreciate it. So the first bunch of items that I picked up from H&M Home were these cushion covers. I picked up four of these, however, I don't think I realized the dimensions of them, but how pretty is this design? This is exactly what I was after from Dusk, but unfortunately I missed their sale. I was too slow, I hesitated and I lost. Looking for something for the sofa downstairs, which is why I kind of wanted a smaller sized pillow case. And yeah, as you can see, these are like these are just more like bed pillows like they're smaller than head like head bed pillows but these would look nice as like two on a bed if you know what I mean anyway these are called the velvet cushion cover and they are in the color light beige slash white they also do them in a blue they retail at 12.99 each and they were reduced down to six pounds so I picked up four of these in the hope that I could have used them on the sofa but I can tell you now I won't be that size is just not right if they were squares H&M do do them in squares by the way I just was obviously trying to get a bit i was trying to get the sale price um but yeah unfortunately i didn't read the description properly so i lost out just a little leftover christmas item that i picked up this is just a little roll of black velvet ribbon now i don't usually go for black but i've seen a few presents this year with black ribbon and i just thought it looked like a really nice statement so i picked this up because it was super cheap it was only two pounds and it's a satin ribbon and it's usually 2.99 so i saved 99p this is the biggest thing in the whole bag of which I picked up in the sale from H&M. I didn't realize it was going to be this big and heavy. This is actually insane quality. This is a anti-slip doormat and it's 24 inches by 35 inches, so 60 by 90. Again, a classic example where I do not read the sizes when I buy these things. It usually was meant to be 39.99 and it's reduced to 20. That's what I paid for it. Um, which now in hindsight, this is going to be a very good deal for it. This is what it looks like when it's rolled out. So it is just like a sort of geometrical design on there. Um, to be quite honest with you, I don't know where I'm going to put this now because I thought it was going to be smaller than it was and it's really big. So I don't need another front door mat. I wouldn't be able to have this as a front door mat because as you can see, it's far too thick. So I wouldn't be able to open my doors. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I think this is going to be a return, which is a bit of a shame. Well, and the last few things are in boxes, which means that it's fragile. So I think this, is this what I think it is? Is it the sculpture? So I have seen this on H&M for quite a little while, and I've been so curious, and then it went into the sale, and I was like, I'm going to grab that. It is this sculpture here. I don't know why I was really drawn to it, but I am. It's got this little bit of black base, which is going to be so popular if you guys follow a neutral style interior. So many people are doing the pops of black now. Like even myself, I've been tempted to do pops of black, but I'm resisting because I think it's a bit of a trend at the moment. Although it does look very classy, I feel like it is a trend. This is a stoneware sculpture in the color light beige so it was usually 24.99 and it was reduced to 15 pounds and that's what i paid for it as well and it's in the color light beige i'd say this is about just under 30 centimeters tall i just think it's really elegant so this is like a mat on top and then this base is trying to kind of look like marble because it's got a tiny bit of marbling through it as well but put that on the side there i feel like that's really classy got a little box over here oh oh what my goodness what am i going to use this for but it is so cute i picked up this little mini plate which actually is matching a couple more items i'm going to show you in a minute but it's just a little plate that says delicious bon appetito 08 pm prego i don't know what i don't even know what was that considered because you can't serve anything on that it's just called a stoneware mini plate and it was one pound down from one pound 99 um 
And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm really not sure. Then I think these are the items that are to go with that style of set. And they did a whole dinnerware set with that Bon Appetito thing. Oh yeah, okay. These are the pasta bowls that match them. I just loved this. Now we're in need of a couple of pasta bowls and this says again, the delicious Bon Appetito 08 Prego. And I just think, I got I got two of them because I think this would be really nice just for me and Andy to have at home. They were like six pounds each, were they? Something like that. They were really cheap. Four pounds, they were literally four pounds each and they're called the Deep Stoneware Plate and they usually retail at 4.99. Wow, I really don't look at prices, do I? Oh, I actually picked up two two of these little plates because obviously I thought that they'd go with the bowls but I didn't realize how tiny they were read your dimensions and then this is the last box which I genuinely cannot remember what it is oh it's the vase okay you guys look at this vase how different is this i feel like i've seen this on h&m quite a lot so it's like a spaceship vase i'm gonna call it and it is in this lovely gray ceramic i just really liked it i could picture it with some gypsophilia coming out of it you know like a really light flower you wouldn't have you could have a lovely bunch of roses or camellias or something like that in here but i just thought it was very unique and different it's called just stoneware vase vase and it was 14.99 and it was reduced by 40 percent off to nine pounds so for the weight of this and for how big it is i feel like that is a amazing deal <sighs> i definitely need a cup of tea so guys that is gonna go ahead and conclude this humongous h m homeware and fashion sale haul i hope you guys have enjoyed this video remember the links will be down in the description box be quick and remember to double check if something says it's sold out just keep a link keep checking i'm gonna go ahead and leave the video here guys because i'm in desperate need of a cup of tea now thank you so much for watching and spending a bit of time with me i've so enjoyed spending it with you and i will see you all in my next video stay beautiful ciao